I'm Tommy from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at my Ghirardelli chocolate and cocoa powder for making hot chocolate. And what I love about this is that um, normally with hot cocoa, I don't really like the powdery stuff. Uh, it just feels kind of grainy, but on the other hand, you can have drinking chocolate that's made with more like melted chocolate, but that can be a little bit too intense. It's like you're just drinking a bunch of, uh, of molten chocolate. And this is actually the best of both worlds because it's a combination of actual chocolate that melts into this and um, cocoa powder. And the end result is that this makes the best hot chocolate in the world, in my opinion. Um, it's from Ghirardelli, so you know the quality is really good. A San Francisco company, it's over 150 years old. So to make the best hot chocolate in the world, we're going to start by measuring out 35 grams or three tablespoons of this mixture for every um, seven ounces of milk. So I'm gonna make a triple recipe here, which means I'll need about 105 grams of this mixture. And you can see it's this really nice um, combination of a, a chocolate and powder mixture there. So I'm gonna measure this out on a kitchen scale. I like to be pretty precise about it and get the exact amount of the uh, mixture from Ghirardelli here that I need or thereabouts over by a gram or two, totally fine. Um, so now we've got our powder. We're gonna go ahead and take milk. I like to use whole milk. Gives it a really uh, you know strong, rich, creamy flavor there. Um, you can also, if you're trying to reduce the, uh, the fat there, you can also go for a 2% milk or a skim milk. And we're gonna measure out 21 ounces for a triple recipe here. Now I'm gonna put this into my Instant Pot. You could also heat this up in the microwave or on the stove top, but I like the Instant Pot. I'm gonna go ahead and add in that nice mixture. And we're gonna set the Instant Pot to start to heat this up um, on a saute setting. Again, you could do this on the stove top or the microwave. And the key thing though is as this starts to heat, we're gonna whisk this really aggressively. And we wanna whisk all that powder in, incorporate some air, and you can see as that starts to melt, that chocolate and the powder is gonna mix in and you get this really creamy, delicious cocoa mixture. And again, you can see it's thicker, it's creamier than it would be if we were just um, using powder, but it's not as um, thick as a drinking chocolate. And that's what I love about this particular mixture. So then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch this off, put it on a keep warm setting so I can go ahead and dish it out. And I use a big ladle, put it in a nice mug here, top it with some whipped cream and some sprinkles, and uh, it makes, again, the best hot chocolate in the world. So definitely check out this amazing hot chocolate mixture from Ghirardelli.